all of you on this, uh, on this call, on this conference. Let's, let's do it together. Let's make it our collective commitment, as Antonio has just said, to get to net zero by 2050. And we in the UK, as he says, we'll, we're going to do our bit. We're reducing our emissions by 68% at least on 1990 levels over the next decade. And I'm, I'm really awed and, and humbled by the efforts of other countries around the world uh, to set their own targets. And I just want to repeat that, that key message. We're doing this. We're doing this. Not because we're hair shirt wearing, tree hugging, mung bean munching uh, eco freaks. So I've got nothing against any of those uh, categories. And mung beans are probably del delicious. Uh, we're doing it because we know that scientific advances will allow us collectively as humanity to save our planet and create millions of high-skilled jobs uh, as we recover. Five years after Paris, we are still not going in the right direction. Paris promised to limit temperature rise to as close as to 1.5 degrees as possible. But the commitments made in Paris were far from enough to get there, and even those commitments are not being met. Carbon dioxide levels are at record highs. Today, we are 1.2 degrees hotter than before the Industrial Revolution. If we don't change course, we may be headed for a catastrophic temperature rise of more than three degrees this century. Can anybody still deny that we are facing a dramatic emergency? That is why today I call on all leaders worldwide to declare a state of climate emergency in their countries until carbon neutrality is reached. So far, the members of the G20 are spending 50% more in their stimulus and rescue packages on sectors linked to fossil fuel production and consumption than on low carbon energy. And this is unacceptable. The trillions of dollars needed for COVID recovery is money that we are borrowing from future generations. And this is a moral test. We cannot use these resources to lock in policies that burden future generations with a mountain of debt on a broken planet. Dear friends of our planet, this is a moment of truth. This is also a moment of hope. More and more countries have committed to net zero emissions. The business community is getting on board the sustainability train. We see cities striving to become greener and more livable. We see young people taking on responsibility and demanding it of others. Mindsets are shifting. Climate action is the barometer of leadership in today's world. It is what people and planet need at this time. We have the blueprint, the sustainable development goals, and the Paris Agreement on climate change. But we all need to pass a credibility test. Let's make the promise of a net zero world a reality now. On the path to COP26, I urge everyone to show ambition, stop the assault on our planet, and do what we need to guarantee the future of our children and grandchildren.